We got Shadow Pelt versus Blue Pikachu. Can you go back to the bracket real quick? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Alright, I mean, they're double names now. That's fine. Yeah, Shadow Pelt times two and Blue Pikachu times two. Yeah, but we got Rath, uh, Ram Lethal and Jacko. So I was talking to Arlu a little earlier when Omega was playing, um, Jacko, and uh, he says that Jacko is a uh, you're playing RTS in a fighting game. Yeah, that's a, that's about right. She's got these mini these blocks that she sets up right, and then from those blocks come minions that are like different classes of minions depending on which button you use to bring out the box, and they'll just come out and do your bidding. You. Jacko has a number of other specials that she can do so, in order to... Yo, what's up? But anyway, we've already seen... Uh, oh, we've seen both of them on, on uh, stream before. But I haven't seen... Ram Lethal. What is she? And what does she do? <laughs> uh, she's a fairly unique character in this game. She can... Uh, she's got these big swords, right? And with the command, she can set... The, set an orb that is actually that sword just somewhere on the screen. And other than that, she'll, she'll also, she also has strings that can lead to, uh, she has uh, Injustice, Tekken-like strings where she can just press a like punch kick, punch kick in order to execute some sort of command. But overall, she's got a she's got big normals with their sword and um, a fairly impressive game if one understands how her uh, record series her strings work. Yeah, this is very uh, this is very interesting. We're seeing a lot of wait. Okay, yeah, she set okay. up one of the swords over there just off screen. The tricky stuff. Yeah, got the houses and the minions are going to be flowing out. But one of the things that you have to do as Jacko is kind of protect the minion houses, right? Because they have health. You can see it above the... And, they're go and they level up if they're out there for long enough. Mm -hmm. So it's on the Jacko player's best interest to, to let the houses live. Keep them out with oppressive buttons until... Uh, oppressively long buttons until it's go time and she just blew them all up so you know it's fine it's whatever those minions didn't need to live i'm so confused <laughs> okay nice solid command throw right there Spit. that was very solid to play right there you're using the minions continuous pressure very solid. Yep. Keep keep them out. Let the minions do their thing. Counter hit. I thought that second. One. I mean, so there's one. There's two ways you can think about doing this. You can throw the. Uh, the house is off screen so that they're going to be completely safe. Or you can set them right in the corner. <laughs> if, if Jacko has you in the corner, her her mini, her houses and her minions backing her up, you're gonna have a really hard time. You have to deal with her, her own high, low, and command grab mix up. And if you get touched by any of them, then the minions are going to eat you alive. But luckily is able to take out the minion houses equal it's now just a 1v1 instead of a 1v army <laughs> it's just fine i'm gonna not to assume too, too much but the 
most of the players here are fairly new to the game, and Guilty Gear has has a very mechanically intensive game. There's a lot of different things one has to know about different ways to do the Roman cancel, the Roman cancel just in general. <laughs> the insta kills, and it's really interesting to see how how these players are interpreting this engine. Yeah, it's very different than a lot of other things that we've played. Like, it's different, it's extremely different from Blaze Blue to Eunice. And given that those are the only two anime fires we have here so far. <laughs> Definitely the hardest of those three, I would say. It's very much, as much as the general gathering rule will work for some characters, where you can just go from a light to a heavy button, that just really, un unlike, you know, Unius or Undernight, that really doesn't get you much here. You have to know how to actually knock your opponent down or set them up into the air for the for the air combo and those aren't things that you can just get from playing the game those, are, those are stuff you have to get from learning it and knowing definitely have to sit down in practice so yeah, okay, and that, okay, Atmas Shadowpelt was able to get out a lot of his armies, but Blue Pikachu hit, played it slow and just took the, uh, every hit that he could, made the army disappear, just played it very, very patiently, which on one hand is good, but on the other hand, it's Jacko, so. Yeah, it's one of those interesting things about this matchup, maybe, again, I don't know what, much about how any character versus character matchup would go in this game. But while Jacko is able to set up all these minions and such, Ram Ramethal has really big swords that are able to hit multiple houses at a time. So if she's, so if she ever gets the time, she'd be able to wipe out a whole, all three of the houses in a fairly safe range in a pretty quick time. Here we get scooped by the, by Super Command Grab. Does not get much more out of it? But it did a pretty big chunk of his life, like half of what was there. Yep. Get good burst game out of it. You get across screen where the swords were. All right. Got some good damage. Both of them. Oh, but he got to tech in the air. And, and Shadow that, wasn't ready for it. Blue Pikachu taking that match. Now we're going for a one-one. Shadow fell. It's going back to the. Going back to character select, let's see. He's got a jam. All right, this is a much different character. So, unlike Jacko, who wants to either keep you away a lot of the time or uh, or get in with her minions, Jam has the ability to uh, air quotes card up, and she can wave her ha arms around, rave for a little bit, and power up a lot of all of her kick specials so a lot of jam gameplay will be her trying to knock the opponent down so she can get a safe uh, a safe card in and then really get on top of her opponent Ooh. we got we're carding up in neutral i like it Yeah, you gotta be, gotta be kind of wary of these specials too. Her back one where she does a cartwheel from the air, or jumps into the air and does a, a downward kick. Right, is an overhead. I feel like that was supposed to be a hit. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a super. It's a very close range one. She has to make contact with uh, Jam's hands at that point. So. Uh, maybe a little bit of character down familiarity. Um. Yeah, I feel like Blue does actually know how more or less how to play Ram Lethal. At least at this point in the tournament, he's figured out enough to uh, get enough. I honestly don't know if he's played this game before. I think I think he said that he's played it a little bit, but I I definitely agree. I think he's either learning more as the bracket's gone on, or he's remembering. Like, how this character, at least this character works. Oh, we've got that. Yeah. 
Shadow Thought jumping his way out of a very precarious situation. Oh, we Solid got dust. Mm. Oh, nope. Try a Short super. Range. Just get hits out. Get hit out. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I super agree with this this pick, Jack. Uh, Ramethal is really hard to get in on. Jam wants to get in on people, and. Yeah, and that was game two to Blue Pikachu. Now I need to go step out for a second. I'm gonna go see if you can find someone.